What's going on, Jay? Oh. <laughs> well. Just trying to figure out what to do here. Hey, YouTube. This is Jay and T Customs. I'm Jay. I'm T. And how are you doing? <laughs> Because we've got old patchwork that we got to cut out, so we have to cut this out and this out and then replace this. What I want to do is I want to weld the patch to this here because this is the e-brake that's where this goes so or it's intact so I want to uh, utilize this so we're gonna cut this out replace that we're gonna cut this out replace this we're gonna cut this whole piece out because we have to replace this this is the lower frame rail T will show you that the rear end, we dropped the rear end down and we're going to replace this frame rail. We dropped the gas tank so T will walk you around the car. Nice thing is, that's a brand new stainless steel gas tank which is super nice. Thanks to the people who restored this. As you can tell, the rear end is dropped. but. This is what we're talking about. All that needs to be replaced. As you can see up in up in here, it's all well missing. So um, I got the frame rail. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's over here. Um, so this is the new section. This is what was missing on both sides. Um, and then, like Jay was saying, that whole, let's not scratch the car, this whole piece down here is what we have to cut out over there. So, that is what we are up to. So, you know, what we might do is we might, because the frame rail is actually in great shape, back farther, uh, we may cut it and well this just this section in place uh, because trying to get in there to actually get this uh, unattached from the car body in that section back there is going to be without a lift or rotisserie or uh, rotisserie uh, it's almost impossible we may do that I don't know yet, but I'm not, sure. not saying you guys can't do that. Obviously, if yours is in worse shape than ours, you're gonna have to. Um, but we might not. So right. the upper half, or the lower half. So it's uh, it's it's a lot of work. It's gotta get done. But it is what it is. Now that side over there, just this pan section has rust, is, has rust on it. Right. The frame rail itself does not. It's in good shape. Uh, so we're just going to replace some uh, of this uh, over there. All right. Over here, we have to replace the whole thing. Now, when you guys start cutting, um, we're using a plasma cutter, which is making this go super quick. But... You guys got to be careful because the fuel lines are under there pretty much right where you're cutting. So move them. Uh, that's why we took the gas tank out because we didn't want to explode. Um, <laughs> yeah. So definitely well, keep an eye on you, where your fuel lines are. No sparky boom boom. Yeah, no sparky boom boom. This has to get detached. the 
plasma and he's going to finish cutting this out. I'm going to make this a nice straight line over here. Uh, come this down, get this garbage out of here. We'll come over here, cut this out here, put a new piece in there, and then uh, we'll fix this up a little bit here, a little bit here. That's gone. But you can see clearly, see here. There you go. <laughs> see this here? This is what they did. Previous work. All right, so they just fixed this, welded this across here. They never put any type of uh, coating on the bottom of this. It sat on top of here. Water got in here, rotted this away, and then uh, chain reaction. So, whenever you weld something up, you gotta make sure that either you know what you're doing, you got an idea of what you're doing, you gotta seal it all up proper, or water's gonna get in there, and do just this. All right, let's get T over here. Well, we got another hole in the floor. All right, YouTube. This is uh, for the e-break. Oh. So we need to take that. So oh. Jay just made a funny joke. He goes, ah, we could have repaired that. Yeah, okay. This is the shackle. All right, this is what the uh, rear leaf spring sits in. The leaf spring is supposed to go in. There, yeah, the, this goes in there, bolt through, through the frame rail. Hole. And then on this side, there's and then it bolts all the way through. So, yeah, but what's the matter? What's the matter? Okay. Let's just get a slight little adjustment. Uh huh. Maybe yeah. some other things could so, be wrong. Yeah. Okay. We're back. T's been busy, so we put the outer cover. In the last video you saw the inner cover welded and now the outer cover goes on. Now we have to make plate for this area here 
which we're gonna do now. No gas tank is in there. Huh? Pretty good. Well, not so sure. Don't think the shocks work. So we picked up new shocks. Got a new gas tank that was already in it, which is really good. So we're happy about that. So we just picked up a couple of uh, new shocks. We only dropped the rear, the front shackles down on the rear because we didn't want to disconnect the springs from the rear end while we replaced the frame. And let's see how T did. Don't show me That's ugly. Look at that. That looks good, T. Could have been better. Yeah, that's okay. It looks real good, it's real solid. So now we just have to finish that hole right there. That'll be a little, little, uh, little something, something to make that turn. But other than that, and anytime that you're welding uh, this type of stuff, what we did, always drill your holes on the top when you're doing spot welds to something. These are the spot welds to the frame rail and they're welded from the top because gravity goes down so it'll hold that better okay all right so next step fix this hole finish this hole finish uh this hole up and then we got to go over to that side and do something over there to fix that and then the next step will be to paint all this in here and then uh, we're going to put the rust preventative stuff on it then we're going to prime it then we're going to get the carpet in here or to soundproof it get the carpet in here that'll all be in uh, the next video all right we'll be back